to be able to check if in perfect AD is uh, makeable, possible, feasible, uh, it needed a list of requirements for that. So what I did was I compiled one, 13 requirements in there. First one and most important of course is no unintentional activation. That is the big thing. And of course the next one is reliable function when necessary. Of course. But then it must be accurate. Accurate in terms of doing it at the right moment, not, not at 800 meters or 500 meters, but at a low level when the skydiver has finished with his job <laughs> and failed. Then it uh, should have no restrictions for the parachutist, so he should be able to keep doing what he's always been doing without taking care for the AED. Uh, then it should have an autonomous container opening system to open the reserve, then it only should require minimal attention, of course, not much. Then it should require very simple attention, if there is attention and not complicated. It should not be detectable from outside the rig, because people at that time denied ADs completely, so nobody would be the first to do it if the others would be able to see it. Then, of course, very important, not so much maintenance. The old AEDs needed a lot of short intervals for maintenance and maintenance. So the idea was to, to have as less maintenance as ever possible. Then it should be small, it should be lightweight, of course. It should not break, it should withstand all influences when parachuting, transiting, packing, and so on, so on, so on. And, last but not least, it, should, it had to be in a way that it could be installed in every of the different rig configurations, all the different rig brands, otherwise it wouldn't make sense. So um, these are certainly all requirements that if you think about it, you, see, you will see that, that belong to a perfect AED. And the question then of course was and is, is it possible to make something that fulfills these things?